Yeah, we're going into the final round. We gotta get this dub. Come on. We're playing a 97 post score. That's a joke, right? Okay, come on. We gotta hit this. We gotta hit this. Come back, Caesar. I told him to step up. I told him to step up. Come on now. Step up. Let's go. Come on. We won this shit, man. Look at this shirt. This shit is fire. Let's go. What is going on guys? It's your boy Henry back at you guys with another banger today and in today's video I'm going to be teaching you guys how to win the king of the court event how I want it and how basically you can win on any build whether you're a guard or a center so first things first, I'm going to show you guys if you don't already know how the King of the Court event works. So first off, many of you probably didn't play it because you were not a VIP rep, which means you're a 93 or higher. So as you saw, all you do once you're a 93 or higher, you bring your player, you go into the tunnel, and it basically brings you into this, just like Ruffles, Protect the House, Top Dogs, a lot of those other events. And it says finding round one match, right? So this isn't nearly like any of the other events, right? So basically it brings you into this dome and it's a 1v1, right? They're all 1v1s and it's basically a bracket. So you get four rounds, right? And these four rounds, you have to win, four, basically you just have to win four games straight. And once you do that, you get the rewards. So basically you go into a dome, you get a 1v1 going, uh, ball first, I'm pretty sure, is just random. I didn't see any pattern of who was getting ball first for a specific reason. It was basically just random. And it's twos and ones to 11. But the catch is, there's a timer on the bottom right, which is a five minute timer. If the game is not over by then, then they will just take the score as is. So if you're winning, you win. If you're losing, you're losing, and you're gonna lose. And then if it's tied, neither of you, both of you get knocked out. And yeah, that's not very good. Um, but you know, then once if you do win, you know, it just sends you to round two. And then if you win again, you go to round three. And then if you win again, you go to round four. And that's basically how it works. But when you lose, your bracket resets and it resets you back to round one. So it's basically just like starting over. And when you do win, you get a shirt, you get an icon, you get 10,000 BC and 10,000 my points, right? And you can win this on other players. This does work if you want to put it on a not, even if it's not a VIP player, just like you do in Ruffles and every other event. And that's what I did. I won this event twice. And I'm going to show you guys in the video how I put it on the other player if you're looking to do that. So, as you can see, we just won um, round three. We're going into round four. I'm going to be showing some gameplay later in the video when I'm explaining how you go with specific builds. But this event is not only going to be 1v1s. This, this weekend it was 1v1s. And then um, next weekend is 3v3s, which is actually coming up this Saturday when I upload this. Um, and it's basically just going to be the same thing. I, I don't know if they're going to do more than 3v3s. I don't know if they're going to do 5v5s. But the 3v3s are half court, obviously. So I don't know how they do more than that. But it's basically just going to be the same thing. You know, a shirt, 10,000 VC, 10,000 my points. And it's probably going to be four rounds again. But as you can see, we're going into the next round. I get matched up with Whoa Go Crazy. You saw this in the intro. This man hit 98 on the day I played him. So I don't know if it was a couple games after this or whatever. But maybe he hit 98 off an L off of me. Who knows? But um, he hit 98 off of his double rep. That's just another good thing. If you already won the event, you could keep playing like well right here and just get this double rep. You feel me? Um, because no one's not no one's trying to play that micro shit. But anyways, as you can see, this is one of the games that just the timer went out. I mean, there was so much fouls and etc. going on that I you know, was I had the lead and I had the ball, so they gave me the win. And as you can see by the bracket, it shows you the bracket. Um, this was one of my wins. And then here is an, the other win I got. Um, and it's gonna be popping up with the bracket as well. And as you guys can see, there was four games. And once you get those four done, you win. So now many of you, maybe you had a post score like me, but your post score is not your main build, just like me. So that's why I put it on my glass cleaner at first. 
So we're gonna show you how to do that just like people do with ruffles. So let's say, oh, I'm gonna use my play sharp for ruffles, but I'm gonna put it on the sharp. Many of you probably don't even know how to do that yet. So I'm gonna show you right here. So right after you win the event, yours, I just basically waited to quit the ad and right when it set me back out, right when that event is over, depending on what event you're doing, you just dashboard and load up the other player back into your server. And that's what I basically did. But as you can see right here, this is still my post score. This is after the second win. And look at the reward. I got my icon. And this is probably one of the best icons in the game. Not gonna hold you, you feel me? Like this one and Top Dog, in my opinion, are the two best ones. I have the Ruffles icon on my glass. I don't even think that one's better than the King of the Court one. But now let's look at the shirt. The shirt. It's not bad, it's definitely though better than the 3v3 pro one. I've already seen that one. That one's pretty bad. This one is probably as best as we're gonna get because the logo just looks so clean. I don't know what what it, about it. You can wear green, yellow, red, pink with this shirt. It just goes with a lot of stuff, even blue. Um, but anyways, as you can see, we won it. I won it on my post where my glass thing. But now let's get in how to win this, right? I had tons of friends piss off about this they, they were so bad other people like i won it on my first try and then it took me you know a couple hours to win it again because all these tryhards and um good players were playing this shit and i was getting lagged out sometimes sometimes it was restarting my shit for no reason but anyways if you're a guard it's gonna be a rough time that's all i gotta say that's what we're gonna start off with if you're a guard okay and this is not including a pure sharp or a pure stretch, okay? Unless it's, you know, defense-wise. Um, but if you're a guard, you know, most of the time, no matter what build you are, you're going to be facing a shit ton of post scores, okay? We're talking 1v1 players that are at that stage every day. We're talking 96s. This is a VIP event. They're going to be high overalls. They're going to have that double takeover. So basically, once they get that takeover, Shit, it's a GG, you feel me? Like, you ain't getting that ball back. Simple. But, there are ways you can defend the post score, right? So, if you're a guard, you know, you can go to the spam X tactic, uh, get a steal. Um, and remember, you only get five fouls until you get fouled out. Um, so, you can only foul four times. But, um, there's also, um, you can equip dancing standing emotes um in the store um in your my player thing in the menus and if you do that while the post score has his takeover i'm sure you can look up a video and see a tutorial how to do it then he doesn't really get any drop step animation or post spin animation so he basically has to fade so it just sometimes you know some bad you know not experienced post scores you know screw up on that and you can get the ball back by doing that so spam an x dancing um maybe getting a lucky block you just really gotta get, get lucky but when you do get that ball back because most of you i guarantee you got that ball one time if you're a guard whether it's if you're a playmaker um uh, you know any kind of a shot critic you want to take advantage of your speed okay you want to take advantage of the fact that you're way faster than that 30 lateral quickness post score so if you're a shot critter, you want to run around the court Fade once you get your grand badge. Be smart. Just take the open shots. Don't force up some stupid shit. Um, if you're a play sharp, you don't dribble around. You don't get that open shot. Don't drain your energy, though, and shoot a three, okay? Um, and basically, what you're going to want to do, and this is a, now this is including pure sharps. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make that post score step up. So once you hit that three, that post score is going to be like, okay, I cannot allow the three because. Us post scores, I can say, because I am a post score, even though it's not my main deal, I have a 96 post score. Um, we once we don't want you to get that takeover. We don't want you to get that sharp takeover, that play main takeover, because then it's very hard to stop you. So basically, once you hit that first three, you, he's gonna have to step up, and you're gonna be able to easily drive by and get wild and laps and rim run. And then you get your badge, and if you're a good player and you play smart, it's an easy dub. Okay. Now, let's move on to the stretch big archetype. No matter what kind of stretch big you are, let me just say this. The best archetype to use in this event is not a post score. 
Yes, it is not a post score. I'm telling you that much. It is actually a stretch big, okay? Or a tall, pure sharp. I actually had a friend, shout out to my boy Ermi, who won it on a six foot 10 pure sharp. He's actually the first person to win the event in the world. He went on Asia server and was the first one to win. And let me tell you why he was the first one to win. Because stretch bigs and tall pure sharps is the best build for one he wants. They post scores, centers, whatever it is, they have to step up on that three. When they don't step up, you shoot great. When they do step up, you run right by them, rim run for a wide open dunk. Don't do some stupid shit, just take your points. And then when you get that grab edge, if you're a good player, like I said, you're unguardable at that point. So that's why that is the best build, okay? They, they, this, no center can keep up with you while stepping at lim stepping up at limitless range and then protecting the paint. They can't do both. They can't do it. You see right there, it's got beat to the um, pain because I'm, I have to step up, right? But fortunately, this guy's not that good. He just takes a bad shot, you know. That's when, you know, you struggle. But if you play smart, you're gonna get the dub, okay? Now, if you're a center, I won this on my post score, but you can win this on glass cleaners. You can win this on athletic finishers. You can win this on locks, especially rim protectors. Um, if you know how to back somebody down, if you know your post moves, it don't matter what build you have, you can get the dub. If you want to look up on YouTube search um, how to back down or push off in the post, that is the cheesiest animation. You don't have to have any kind of bad post badges to do that. And it's basically unguardable. Um, so that's basically how I would say you can win it on centers. But anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, this helped you out at all, make sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to drop a comment and turn on those post notifications. This is your boy, Henry. And I'm out of here. Peace. I was, I was on the ball. I'ma stack that money tall. After I get mine, I'ma share it with my dog. Gotta carry out the plans. Cause you only get one chance. Yeah, I do this for my fans.